To make the axles of the car, you're going to take a 3 16 dowel rod and mark it at 3 inches and again at 6 inches. Using the scroll saw, cut these two axles. Attaching to the wheels to the car can be kind of tricky. Sometimes the wheels fit very loosely onto the axle and it all depends on the size of the axle that you have. Not lengthwise, but how around it is. Sometimes it, dowels can be made small and then it's going to fit through this hole in the center very easily and the wheel can fall off. Other times it might be a snug fit. So you have to treat this on an individual case basis. So what we're going to do is attach and slide this together. Now I'm feeling that these two fit together quite tightly, so that's good. So all I'm going to do is press down with both my thumbs on the outside of the wheel here. And I just want this dowel rod to poke through here, kind of like the hub in the center of a wheel. Then I'll take and pass the axle through the axle housing here and attach the other side. Now if the other side goes on real easy like this one just did and it can fall right off, we can't keep our car like that because it will be a problem. So what I'm going to do is on the axle itself I'm just going to put the smallest little bit of glue there and let it dry. I'm not trying to permanently attach the wheel to the axle. We will be taking this apart to paint it. But what this does is it's going to give it a little bit of friction. Now again, this is such a very small amount of glue. Don't put too much on. Once that's dry, you can take and twist down the wheel. What you can't do is take and push these tight together because then they don't turn very nicely. This is a lot of friction there. If I take and spread them apart by twisting and pulling them apart a little bit, you want to have a little bit of play. That might be too much. So just a little bit of play and now these should spin easily. Right, so you do this to the back of the car and you also need to do it to the front.